Hi everyone, it's uh, Luke here. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a follow-up review today of the uh, screwdriver Mark II. Um, now I got this uh, exclusively uh, from Totally Wicked E-Liquid. Um, there was originally obviously a Mark I, uh, which wasn't exclusive to Totally Wicked E-Liquid. Basically this thing has been improved and designed um, by the original maker, but also um, the actual package, I guess, was uh, helped along with, by Totally Wicked. Um, so again, the package itself, I'll just grab it from down here, from the last video, remember, it had this and it had uh, everything inside the box and everything. Um, now, uh, basically, I've already showed you all that, so basically this review, this follow-up is all about how it has performed and what I've thought of it and anything I might have forgotten from last time. Anyway, so the number one thing about um, these particular thing, these big battery mods, um, is the capacity of the actual battery. I'll just take this off. Um, there's a big battery there, basically. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to read the um, writing on there, uh, but anyway, it's basically saying um, 3.7 volts at 900 milliamps. Uh, most um, batteries that you'll get in a, a standard e-cig, um, which is you know this sort of size, the battery itself um, is sort of that size. Uh, it's around about uh, it's 3.6 volts rather than 3.7, um, and it's also uh, only about 180 milliamps in the Titan. I'm not sure what the um, the 901s are. Um, but there, there can't be that much more. Maybe 280, 300, maybe it's something around there. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be thinking much more than that. Anyway, so the whole point is that it um, is lasts longer. Now, this particular battery has been in here for uh, since this morning at around about 3 a.m. in the morning, and uh, I've had a bit of a long day on the computer and watching TV and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I've only had four hours sleep since 3 a.m. this morning, uh, and I've been pretty much vaping on this thing non-stop. Like I might put it down maximum uh, 20 minutes, and the rest of the time I'm sort of uh, vaping away, um, and it's still going. So I mean, this the atomizer might be a bit dry. I'll get to that in a minute. As you can see, it's still vaping away quite happily. Um, when I first got it, uh, I, I did one day where it was actually 48 hours. Uh, obviously, with two two sleeping periods, two sort of standard eight-hour sleeping periods within that 48-hour hour block. Um, but again, it was uh, during the holiday part, during Christmas, so I was vaping quite a lot. When I'm at work, obviously, I vape a little bit less. I do vape um, at my desk. Um, but it's you know um, you know I don't sort of sit there constantly vaping. So anyway, so the batteries definitely I'd say well I, I mean they're going to last you an entire day. You can essentially walk out the door with a fully charged battery um, and not have to change the battery until you get home at at the very least. Um, but what I think you're going to find is that you're going to be um, waking up the next morning and then changing the battery maybe uh, or, or not even that. So just, I mean obviously it depends how heavy a vapor you are but you, you're certainly going to get at least the whole day. With the Titans I was changing them maybe three, four times a day um, and the more you use it the, the worse it gets. Um, so over like two or three month period um, rather than getting a full you know three hours out of you know the the Titan you're actually you know getting you know like one hour and you know it just gets worse and worse with these they do tend that I mean all lithium batteries will run out eventually they, they you know they just aren't able to be unlimited charge but um, tests have shown that this does wear out slower now a um, couple of things about the packaging um, the tobacco liquid included with it, not so great. Um, the, the nicotine level was fine, but the actual flavour was, um, I mean, it's the worst flavour I've had from Totally Wicked e-liquid. 
Um, I don't know why they've put such a bad flavour in uh, with, you know, such a high quality, um, you know, uh, e-cigarette. Because, you know, if I if I had never had any totally wicked liquid before that, and that was my first, I'd be really hesitant to buy any totally wicked e-liquid again. Um, great actual, you know, e-cig, but, you know, the, 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 the liquid was awful. Um, Another thing, with this uh, little cap down here, um, the, the button itself, it does come loose very, very easily. So I was finding myself having to tighten this little button cap over and over and over, like even uh, an hour or two after last tightening it. So what I've done is I've dripped a little bit of um, craft glue uh, onto the actual underside of this uh, and then screwed it on you know, allowing the craft glue to get into the threads. Uh, so the reason I use craft glue is it's not going to actually bind, so I can still unscrew it if I need to, uh, but it just gives it that, that little bit more grip, and it, and it hasn't come loose since. Um, so that's sort of, in my opinion, that is a bit of a flaw. I know it's been designed uh, to be able to be taken undone, but the fact that it comes loose so easily, I mean, you know, within an hour, um, it, it can come loose and basically fall off. That's how, how easily it becomes loose. So in my opinion, that's a flaw, because if you lose that, you lose the actual spring that's inside there, um, you know, it's going to become a pain in the ass to use the, um, the, the actual screwdriver. Um, so yeah, so that's definitely uh, one downside, but as I say, it's easily fixed, it's just, you know, like something that I think could have been done better. Um, the uh, atomizers that came with it, I'm still using those quite happily, I just happen to be uh, vaping out of this particular atomizer at the moment. Um, the uh, I actually love the, I'm not sure if you're able to see it in this, because there's actual liquid in there, uh, no, not really. But um, I really love the these particular carts. They're um, I'm not sure if you can see it's multi sort of coloured sort of cart, a multi piece cart, um, and they've got a particular type of filler in there uh, that's different to the other fillers. I'm not sure if I've got any um, yeah, not really handy, um, but they're like a cotton ball sort of thing. Everything else. The filler in the cartridges that come with this are much, much better and, and hold more juice um, and also uh, wick the actual um, metal mesh better. Now, the only real thing that's really um, prevented me from using uh, it on, you know, like more for more than 24 hours is atomizers. I mean, so it's not the actual uh, e cigarette itself. This part, perfect, wonderful. It's, you know, the, the fact that atomizers are still not quite up to the job of doing full on um, day in, day out, hour after hour after hour um, sort of work, you know. Um, they basically just don't have the durability to handle that, you know. Um, so after, like I've had these for maybe I think three weeks now. Um, so they're starting to get a little bit, um, you know, lacking in the vapor, vapor and throat heat production sort of side of things. Every now and then, I mean, not all the time, but enough to sort of make me think, oh, is the battery getting flat or, or, or something like that. And when I change over to a different atomizer, I find that, you know, it wasn't actually the battery that was getting flat. It was the um, atomizer that just wasn't performing very well. So. Uh, the, so yeah, so all, all in all, uh, the screwdriver is totally definitely worth it. Now that they've reduced the price uh, on the screwdriver as well, um, it makes it even better deal. I mean, it's basically the same price as all the other uh, e-cigarette packs on the market. Um, so other than that actual juice that's in there, um, everything is top-notch quality uh, as advertised, etc., etc. Um, no, no other real complaints um, that I can think of uh, other than what I've mentioned. Um, but certainly if you're going to get it uh, and it's your first e-cig and you don't have any other juice, make sure you buy some juice because that, that tobacco stuff in the actual package is um, 
yeah, it's just not very very nice. It's uh, it's probably the worst one, as I say. Okay, but uh, I'm about out of time, so I'm going to wrap it up. Basically, uh, I give the screwdriver at this point at least uh, maybe a, a, an eight or nine out of ten. It's just that 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 problem with here. Um, you know the the whole lanyard thing. It's great, but it gets a bit. You know, it, it does sort of you know hurt your neck after a while. Um, other than that, you know, it, 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 I'm sure there'll be something that's you know much much better. But at the moment, uh, this is the best I can think to get. Um, yeah.